sewing machine. What's up, my stitches? Sewing machines are super useful to have whenever you gotta make a stitch real bad. So come with me and I'll show you how to be the best sewing m in your town. Now before we get started, there's some things you gotta know. It's about the parts of a sewing machine, yo. First up on the list, we got the spool pin. Putting your thread here is the first step to a win. Now second up, we got the binder spindle. And during winding, the bobbin is placed hither. But when the bobbin gets full and things start to get popping, then you can count on the bobbin winder stopper. Part four is the dial for the width of the stitch. Turn it as you please to change the zigzag stitch. Now to move the needle around, there's something you gotta feel. Look on the right side and find the hand wheel. Next up, we got the stitch length dial. Turn it to the right to make your stitches longer for a while. If you want to change things up and seem a little clever, then go ahead and hit the reverse stitch lever. And while we're talking dials, I can't forget to mention, there's also a dial to change the thread tension. We're getting towards the end with the needle clamp screw. It holds the needle in place, man. You know what it do. Don't forget the bobbin cover and the release button. They protect the bobbin and release it when you ain't doing nothing. Last piece up is called the feed dog. It's a part of the machine that pulls the fabric along. So before you start to sew, a couple things you need to know. First you gotta wind the bobbin and then you're ready to go. You gotta disengage the needle and get the bobbin out. You put the thread in and then you start to shout. You start to wind the bobbin, you put it on its pin. You start the bobbin winder and it's looking like a win. After that, you're almost done. You take the bobbin out and you're done with step one. Next comes the threading, you gotta do it right cause if you mess this up, it'll ruin your night. Then comes the needle, re-engage it tight. You don't want it coming loose on a stitch. All right, take some thread from the bobbin, drop it into place. You start to wind the thread, boom, in your face. You pull the thread down around the take-up lever, then you thread the needle, and you're looking clever. A take-up lever pulls the thread from the spool, feeds it through the machine, got you looking cool. Expose the bobbin thread, and you start to have some fun. Look at you now, ready to get some sewing done. Gotta put your hair up, no ifs, no buts. There are easier ways for you to get your hair cut. No loose jewelry, no long sleeves, cause they'll get cut, you better believe. Keep your hands and fingers away from the needle, cause if you don't, it'll poke a hole through them and you'll bleed them. Oh, starting to sew, let's get ready. Sure to keep the fabric firm and steady. Push it under the needle, nice and slow. Stitches on the inside, don't let them show. Most common stitch is the straight. There's other stitches too, but you might want to wait. The foot pedal controls your speed. You can always check your manual for any other needs. Good idea to practice on a scrap so that your final product doesn't look like crap. Try sharp corners, make sure you've got them down. Now you can sew without looking like a clown. 